Hello and welcome. Today we've got a B22 Hulti battery, 8 amp hour. It's only charging the 3 bars. That's an issue. Um, I think it works. We'll try it on. It does work, but it's only giving us 3 bars of power. So there's a serious power loss in this battery, and I'm going to show you why. If your Hulti battery is exhibiting this fault, there's one problem it can be most likely nearly guaranteed to be cell imbalance throughout the pack i'm gonna to have to open the pack and show you how to detect this and i'll explain how to rectify it Right, with the screws out you just slide the bottom off you don't need to interfere with the top at this stage this one looks like it belongs to Pablo Escobar or Scarface or something I don't know we'll rectify that now as expected these cells are purple because they're Samsung 40T 21700s in this battery that's what helped you use in these ones or you use they don't make this battery platform anymore which is more as the body for the people that own the tools but anyway I'm not going to get into that today so to detect this problem and detect where that she is here's what you do this um, multimeter has to be set for DC voltage and you have the red probe and the black probe and the positive will have this type of shape the flat one is a negative, the one that's raised up is a positive and they'll go from positive to negative the whole way along positive negative, positive negative, positive negative, positive negative, positive negative, positive negative, that sort of way so you measure the voltage all the way along in all the banks of cells that's 4.14 that means that's a fully charged bank of cells the reason why it stopped charging is one or more of the banks of cells have reached their maximum and then the charger can't charge anymore which is a good thing because you don't want it overcharging the cells either 3.73 you see this third one on here I'm going to mark it with a little pen just here that third one on is showing 3.73 volts that means it's significantly lower in the first two and that's where the lost voltage is guaranteed there's 4.14 in this one 4.14 4.08 that's a little bit low but not significantly so it's enough we could maybe let it go that's 4.13 so the third bank of cells is the one we need to target and i'll tell you how you do that i have a little charger called the laypro balance charger it's an amax b6 and that's um designed to charge the whole pack individual banks and certain numbers whatever you want whatever part of that battery we want to charge individually we can with that this is the e max b6 lapro balance charger and you set this for how many it says 6s there that would be to charge the whole pack but we can adjust this down to 1S because we're only charging one bank of cells. I'm only bringing it up. So we have to get the polarity right. And I know because I know. But I'm going to show you how I know. What polarity is. what um, Where it goes. There's a negative on there. And there's the positive. We'll get a good purchase on there. If you're unsure. Where to put the red one. The red one goes in the positive And the. The uh, black one goes in the negative. So we're going on here. You see that's connected here. That's the positive side. And that's the negative side there. So we're connecting across that cell. And the voltage is showing 3.74. You see I have the red one on the side the red's there. And the black one on the side that the black is. Let me see. I'll just try and get as much on the shot as possible. 
the red matches the red and the black matches the black and we're getting that positive voltage you'll know if you've got the polarity wrong if you put the black probe here on the positive side and the red probe on the negative side you'll have the polarity wrong and there's another tricky thing cells when they're really bad they can reverse polarity and they're unsavable at that stage but we'll not get into that today so we're back to the recovery process we have the we have the terminals on the right place you know and we're just going to press the button here and then we press and hold to charge it and I'm going to hit it and that should bring that up fairly quickly you know because it's only one bank of cells I am putting 6 amps on that's usually too much but for the interest of this video I'm going to speed this process up so I can give you a video and deliver tea quickly so what you want to see is that's putting near enough maximum voltage into the cells into the a pair of cells and you know you're getting near your destination that's actually this bank is actually achieving close to where it should be when you see the ampage is dropping once you get nearly fully charged it starts to be less and less on it puts nothing and then you're fully charged but this charger will alert you it gives a little beep and alerts you when the, the charge is full so I'm going to leave that charging and stop the video and come back when it's done for those gentlemen in the comments section who say put a wire to the positive from the positive terminal from another battery and put a wire from the negative terminal to the negative terminal from another battery that will not correct cell imbalance uh, it will not as uh, more chance of actually um, damaging the cells than correcting this issue it'll not it'll not do it this is the only answer this is a very safe method of doing this because it'll not overheat the cells and not destroy the cells it's a very gentle sort of way of bringing it back there knocked it off so i haven't changed the settings in this you can see the ampage has gone down a little bit and the voltage is up to maximum now 4.2 it'll not probably go on a hair in that that's the voltage that the charger's putting onto this that's the ampage it's putting on as she gets closer to 4.2 the ampage will drop here but that's 10 minutes so it's not doing too bad i would say another 10 minutes so make a bit of a difference but it'll not complete the thing right that's 109 minutes now that's you know I don't know, that's a romantic comedy I could have watched or an action comedy or something instead of standing here but anyway see it's gone down to low amperage it's took a hell of a long time but I'm going to switch it off now and check the voltage of this bank of cells that we have charged remember it's only with a little black dot on it and we'll just check it you can check it from one side to the other with these wires you know the wires are connected or you can check it down here it doesn't matter 4.18 so it's a little bit a little bit higher than the rest we overcooked it a little bit but it's all right it's not significantly so um still not lighting the fourth bar so I think what we have to do is the cell we talked about previously the one that's a little bit low that 4.07 we've got to connect to it can you see that there the 4.07 we can check it in this and 4.07 so we'll bring that up and hopefully we'll get the four bars then so here we go again this shouldn't take as long <laughs> because it hasn't as far to go there's the plus on there might bend that up a little bit or something to get a good purchase on there it is and there it is and we'll give it a little give it a little bit this should not take as long but you know i see the voltages are the ampage is dropping right away 
So you could be talking, you're not going to talk, be talking 109 minutes anyway, but um, might be quick enough. It's dropping nicely there. We'll give it a little bit of time and see what happens. We'll stay with it now when we've gone this far. Right, I've took off the charger. I think we've finally got there now. Uh, I'll just do a wee voltage check the whole way along. 4.12. 4.12. 4.16. Not too bad. Not too high. 4.12. 4.10. So not too bad. And last but not least. 4.12. So the, I think we've got there, we'll um, put it together and try it on a drill. The moment of truth now, I'll try this heat lamp on the drill, to see, what we, see how it goes. Going well, and I think there's an extra kick off it, so because we restored the voltage in that one. 